What's up YouTube? Odin here to bring you a very quick video of the updates that's coming in Elite Dangerous Beta 2 which has been released on September 30th. So I'm just going to give you a quick rundown of what what they've said is coming. So basically we've got Elite Ranks, I'm not sure that is, maybe it's just a ranking system how when you're fighting other players or something. Faction Reputation, so basically if you start trading with a certain faction quite a lot you'll start getting a reputation with them and they'll start giving you more money for all the the goods you sell them which is always good system maps maybe that's an improvement to the map system at the moment as you can see I've got a, a, a Larkon type 6 and when I go onto the star map to try and find my way around it's like Spaghetti Junction um, around 500 star systems in beta 2 so at the moment I think there's 25 there's going to be 500 more added so wow that, that's going to be big they're also adding in exploration and to go with that they're actually adding in the Asp Explorer ship um, I grew up watching stuff like Star Wars and Star Trek so exploration for me is like oh I can't wait it's gonna be so good um, they're gonna add a greater variety for modifying all weapon types more in-game information on upgrades which is yeah quite handy because it is a bit like you know, if you don't know what you're doing, like, you just, yeah, you don't have a clue, which sometimes I don't. Gradual wear and tear on your, your, your ship, which I think is really good. So basically, you know, you're flying around space, you're going to hit, you know, space dust, space debris, little, you know, little bits of asteroid are going to hit your ship. So after a while, it's going to take a toll, and you'll have to get that repaired, like, you know, like you would really if you were in space. Um cargo hatch disruptor which is like another good feature basically if you target a specific target like the cargo hatch fire upon it it will open and the cargo will start unloading which is really really good They're adding outposts now I don't know what these are going to be for but I think that's a good idea hopefully it would be somewhere different to go for do missions and pick up more missions and that oculus starport so I think that's going to be another starport they're adding in Super Cruise wakes and visible II in Super Cruise. So basically, it's like a pebble effect. When you see something going to Super Cruise, it would be like a ripple effect, which would be really good. And obviously, AI being it, so it just gives it more of a immersive feel in the game. Live Galnet news feed. So basically, whatever system you're in, you visit the, the port, like I am now, um, it'll be like a news feed of what's going in, going on in that system at the moment. You know, if you're helping to destabilise that, it will come up that, you know, it's being destabilised. I'm not sure it's going to come up with names, but that'd be quite cool. Rock, ice and metal variations in planetary rings. So basically, when you go visit the planets at the moment, it's just, just the asteroid belt that you see around it. It'll be different, so you see ice, and that'd be, that'd be really good. Lighting improvements. I think the lighting's pretty good at the moment, but, you know, that could be good. And they're also adding SLI slash crossfire support which obviously if you've got dual graphics cards that'd be really good okay guys i hope you're looking forward to it i really am and i'll see you soon thanks for watching yeah.